Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about becoming a lone wolf. So this is like a really cool thing that you can do if you are single and perhaps maybe you have like broken up with someone or you've realised that, you know what, um, I've, I've been rejected quite a lot or something like that or I've been put in friend zone and I want to develop more strength, I want to develop myself a lot more. And this was, you know, something that I came to the conclusion of um, when I went through a pretty bad breakup and um, I went through a couple of experiences where it seemed like everywhere I turned it was kind of like unrequited, you know, I'd have feelings for a girl and then it wouldn't be reciprocated and things like that. Um, so this kind of went on for a, for a while and uh, I was single for about three years before I met my wife and I needed those three years to be a lone wolf like I needed those three years to develop myself to grow um, to, to learn basically what I wanted because what I discovered was when I broke up with my ex um, I started getting into relationships that were kind of similar and I say relationships very loosely and there's more like I was dating people and I'd, you know, go on a few dates with them. And it would seem like I just kept on dating the same kind of person. And I realized then that I needed to, you know, really do some deep inner work on myself. Um, spend some time alone doing my own thing um, before I could get into a new relationship. Because it just seemed, it seemed like I just kept on attracting the same kind of people. And I made a video recently on you know, that, you know, why do I keep on attracting the same kind of people? And roughly in that video, I just discuss um, the reason why that happens is because um, you haven't learned the lessons from those previous relationships. And I realized that I needed to, I kept on attracting the same kind of people. I kept on even attracting the same kind of friends. And I was like, why am I attracting all these people that they, they these people want to be in my life, but I don't, I don't want them in my life. They're, you know, they, they, they behave in ways that I'm not happy with. They, they use me, they do all these things, you know, and I, I re realized that I was like, I need to find new friends. I need to find new lovers. I, I don't want to be with these sorts of people. And you really need to get to a place where you're sick of the kind of people that you're attracting into your life. That is lovers, that's friendships, you know, everything, basically jobs, you know, you need to think I'm not interested in this. I don't want this. And you need to really get to that place and then you can evolve from it. Um, and uh, you can, you know, get to a higher level where you can meet someone better and meet better friends. And one of the ways that you do that is becoming very clear on the kind of person that you do want to attract. Um, so you need to write basically a list of the ideal qualities that you would love to have in a partner. And you also need to make a list of the things that you do not want. So you know what to look out for when you go on dates. Um, and, you know, it takes a little bit of introspection. It takes a little bit of time. Um, so you do need to become a bit of a lone wolf and focus on these things for a bit. Do things for you, focus on your hobbies, focus on your interests, focus on finding the right crowd for you, like the, the, the best friendships that you can find um, and taking that time for yourself um, so you can grow, so you can learn, so you don't just keep on repeating the same kind of friendships, the same kind of romantic relationships. You don't want to be in this cycle where you just keep on, it seems like it's Groundhog Day, but with people, you know, where you just keep on having the same kind of experiences over and over and over again, and you you just feel stuck. Um, so you need to, you know, develop new awarenesses, you know, you need to grow, you need to learn, um, you know, I have a positive resources playlist on my channel, which was some things that I read and listened to um, when I was in my lone wolf stages uh, for those three years. So I could, you know, really grow and work on myself and get a better mindset because I used to be really negative. In fact, I feel like I was, I feel like I've been in, in like a, in, an inherent uh negative mind basically because I was looking through photos of when I was a kid and things like that and I always looked sad I always looked miserable and it was the same when I was a teenager as well like I always looked sad I always looked miserable everyone would come up to me and be like hey you okay you know even though I wasn't really you know thinking of anything like sad and I think it was just because I just had this um I just I was just kind of born negative I have like a more I'm more prone to think negative thoughts than I am positive thoughts which I think a lot of people are but anyway when I was going through these three years, like I developed a more positive mindset by like listening, listening to lectures and reading books by Dr. Wayne Dyer. He's one of the, the, the biggest people in my life that's transformed my life for the better. Um, so I highly recommend if you're interested in that kind of thing in uh, developing a more positive mindset, then you go and check out Dr. Wayne Dyer. Um, and that's Dyer spelled is a D Y E R and Wayne is spelled uh, W A Y N E Wayne Dyer. 
um, and uh, you know just listening to his audio books and uh, reading his books and listening to his like lectures and watching his lectures his PBS specials and uh, one of my favorites is called The Power of Intention um, I have it on DVD as well that's how much of it <laughs> yeah, I, I've watched it on YouTube but I, and I also have the DVD of it um, yeah, I'm a huge geek on Dr. Wayne Dyer and you know, he, he just really transformed my life and made me a much more positive person and made me question my thoughts and made made me learn how to transmute my negative thoughts into positive ones uh, which I used to struggle with in the past and I, I wasn't even aware of my own thoughts and that I could direct my thoughts in any way that I wanted to choose um, and it really helped me grow and become better and, uh, and it, it was transformative for me basically and one of his um, favorite uh, quotes that he said all the time I think he wrote a, a book on it but it was like um when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And basically what this means is you can look at any negative experience, whether this is with an ex or with a friendship or with a job, and you can switch it around and, and think of it in a more positive way. You know, so for example, you could say, wow, I've just gone through a really um, terrible heartbreak, right? And you may be thinking that, and you may be thinking, oh, woe is me. But you can also look at it in a different way. You can think, well, what did I learn from this? You know, was there something in there? Did I learn something? Did I grow from this? Like, what what are the benefits from this? And it may be something as simple as, well, at least now I know what I don't want in a relationship. At least now I know that's not what I want to happen to me again. It might be just one simple realization like that, but you've still learned something from it. And if you kind of look at these tough situations that you go through at different angles, it really helps make it less intense. Like, what did I learn from this? You know, asking yourself that. Um, you know, what was actually, you know, a benefit to me from this? You know, asking those sorts of things can really, really benefit you. And, um, you know, it can really help um, give you a more positive mindset. And you can only really do this when you have, when you are going to be a bit of a lone wolf for a little bit. So you can have time to like dive into these ideas, um, you know, reading self-help books and things, um, reading personal development, um, reading books on dating and relationships. I have a link for like loads of these, uh, their affiliate links, obviously, for these um, books. Um, so obviously if you do get a book through those links, then I do get a small commission on those links. So you don't have to do it, but again, it's free to do so. You know, you're not gonna be charged any more by uh, clicking on one of those affiliate links. So if you do do that, then that's greatly appreciated, but you can just go on Amazon and just search the, up these titles yourself. Um, um, you might even be able to find some free audio book on uh, YouTube or something that someone's uploaded. You know, there's there's so many things out there that can help you develop a better mindset, that can help you grow and to help you really develop this like lone wolf kind of mentality. Now, a lone wolf doesn't necessarily mean that you're blocking other people out, but a lone wolf means to me that you're not going to um, tolerate people that don't want to be there, people that you don't want in your circle, you know, and becoming very, um, I guess, picky and choosy with who you have in your circle. It doesn't mean that you don't have friends, it doesn't mean that you don't have family, you're kind of just wandering out in the world on your own. It means that you're no longer going to have people in your life that don't respect you, that don't, um, you know, that, that treat you badly, that treat you in a way that you don't want, and that you're only going to tolerate and you're only going to, um, keep people in your life that respect you, that love you and want to be there. So obviously an ex is someone that doesn't want to be there because they dumped you and it ended. That's someone who you shouldn't be tolerating in your life or trying to get back into your life. You should be keeping those people in your life that want to be there, that love you, that respect you, that say yes to meeting up with you, that, um, you know, the, and if it comes to dating, you go out on dates only with people that show up. Um, you only um, continue dating people that show up. Um, you know, and you just spend time with people that you really want to be with and they really want to be there as well. That's what it means to be, a, you know, a true lone wolf. Um, you know, having only people that want to be there in your life and they're the kind of people that you want in your life because, you know, you may have some friends or some lovers that, you know, want to be in your life but you don't really want them in your life. It needs to be like a mutual thing. Um, and then you get, you know, a very good, tight, nice circle of people that genuinely care about you, that you can have a laugh with, that you can have fun with, um, that appreciate you. Um, and it's the same with jobs, you know, you should be finding a job where you're valued and appreciated. I um, mean, you know, you can you apply these kinds of principles to, to any kind of situation in your life, which is really, really cool. You know, having that kind of lone wolf mentality, like I'm going to be where I am appreciated. I'm going to be where I'm wanted. I'm going to be, you know, where 
um, I want to be as well, you know. So, you know, that's kind of my thoughts on, you know, how to be a lone wolf and how being a lone wolf can actually really, really benefit you um, and give you that time to grow, to have time to yourself, to have time with people that want to be there with you um, and to help, help you, you know, to help you grow, to help you become a better person, to become the best version of yourself so you can start um, having a better life for yourself because that's what we all ultimately want. We all want, ultimately want to have peace when it comes to our life. We want to have... Um, you know, experiences that we want, that we enjoy, um, and we want to be living in a way that we are happy about, that we are proud of, so we can basically feel proud of who we are and be proud of who we see in the mirror every day and be happy with who we see in the mirror every day instead of feeling bad about ourselves. And people that don't want to be there make you feel bad about yourself because you want to be with someone who doesn't want to be there. And it it feels tough when someone doesn't want you in in their life. So you kind of need to develop this new mindset of uh, I'm only going to have people in my life that want to be there and I want them, them to be there as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.